the previous lesson, we learned about the composition of functions. We define that to be f circle g of x is f of g of x. But in higher level math, it's often important to be able to decompose a function. To decompose a function, h of x means to find two functions, f and g, such that f circle g of x equals whatever function I desire, in this case, h of x. Now, this is best explained with an example. In our first example, we're asked to write a function h of x equals the quantity 2x plus 4 raised to the third power as the composite of two functions, f and g of x, or f of x and g of x, such that f circle g of x equals h of x. Our task is to find a function f of x and a function g of x so that this statement is true. And for us to find that, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite f circle g of x with its equivalent, f of g of x. And then we'll replace h of x with its equivalent, which is the parentheses 2x plus 4 raised to the third power. So here's how we're going to do. We're going to look at the left-hand side here. We have layered sets of parentheses on the left-hand side. And we know that with order of operations, whatever's on the innermost set of parentheses has to be first or the innermost function. So I'm going to call that function number 1. The outside is f. So f is going to be the outermost function. I'll call that function number 2. On the right-hand side, we'll do the same thing, again, considering the order of operations. We have parentheses on the right-hand side, which means whatever's in the parentheses has to be the function that's done first, in this case, 2x plus 4. Now, I'm writing that for g of x because g of x is the innermost function, so it has to be the thing that's done first. The only function remaining, or the only operation remaining, is the third power, so if f of x is going to be the function that raises to the third power, so I'll call that x to the third power. Now, let's check our answer and see if we're, in fact, correct. So, checking my answer. f g of x is what I want to find. That is, f of replacing g of x with 2x plus 4, because that's what we said f of, uh, g of x was going to be. That tells us to go to the function called f and replace every x with 2x plus 4. So, here's the function called f. There's an x. I'm going to replace it with 2x plus 4. And the function f requires me to raise it to the third power. And when I compare it, you can see that I do, in fact, have it correct. So let's try this again with another example. In our sam second example, example 2, we're asked to write the function m of x equals the square root of x minus 4 plus 3 as the composite of two functions f and g, such that g circle f of x equals m of x. So let's begin in the same way that we did our first example. Let's rewrite the left-hand side using our function notation. So g circle f of x is g of f of x. And the right-hand side, let's replace with what we're trying to get, which is the square root of x minus 4 plus 3. So again, considering the order in which functions happen, we're going to be looking for an f of x and a g of x. And f of x is the innermost set, so this time f of x will be the function that comes first. g of x will be the function that comes second. So in considering what those functions are, we look at this function. And again, there are some sets of parentheses here. x minus 4 has implied parentheses underneath the square root. So it's going to be the thing that I call the first function. So f of x, I'm going to call x minus 4. g of x has to be everything remaining. The remaining functions ask us to take a square root and add 3. So g of x is going to be the function that says, let's take the square root of x, whatever we give it, and add 3 to it. Now, let's check ours a little more informally this time. When I check it informally, I would be replacing this function x minus 4 into x here, and that would, in fact, give me the square root of x minus 4 plus 3. So it checks out. Now, oftentimes, there's more than one way to do decomposition of functions. So let's try this same problem again, but in a different way. Again, I want to come up with f of x and g of x. And again, f of x is going to be the first function. g of x is going to be the second function. In the first time I did this problem, I made f of x be x minus 4. But what if I had chosen f of x to be the square root of x minus 4? In other words, two of the operations. The only remaining operation, then, is to add 3. So I could call this the function that adds 3, x plus 3. Again, informally checking it, if I substituted this f of x into the function g of x, I would get the square root of x minus 4 plus 3. More than one possibility. 